in today's video i'm gonna demonstrate how easy it is to generate a logo using ai tools this particular video has been inspired by my sister-in-law and the reason is she showed me a logo that she got done which she paid 90 pounds 90 pounds is the same as 120 dollars she had a logo done she was happy with it but when she shown it to me i was thinking hold on what i did i shown her me journey i guided her she made a logo we went to canva we edited the logo and she loved it and that's the logo that she ended up keeping this video has been made for somebody who might be in the same situation and hopefully it's gonna save you the money you might want to make a logo for your social media account let's say you want to make a logo for your business or you just want to learn a new skill that you could probably use to make some money on a side it could be for anything whatever the case hello and welcome to this channel let's get straight to the point for this we'll start with me journey then we'll edit on canva and for anyone who wants to take this to the next level maybe learn this as a skill i'll share some somewhere where you can make money using a skill like this if you don't have a me journey account there's a link on the description section of a video that can guide you through the process so we're gonna start with slash imagine space and for this let's say i have a dog walking business so logo for a dog Walker. I'm gonna press enter and Mijen is generating that for us. Uh, Mijen has generated some images that we could use on our logo. So we've got four different options. Let's say Mijen generates an, an image for you, but you don't like the image and you want to have another option. You could press this button, which is the re-roll and Mijen will generate another image for you using the same prompt. And there you go. And also if you want a logo that's got a white background, you can do this. You just have to be specific specific on your prompt so it could be logo for a dog walker and you want white background white background and from that i'm expecting me journey will generate me for me some more images all right me journey has generated some more logo images that we could use we could choose from this or we could choose from the one that we requested to have a white background which is this all right so once you've got an image that you like i like this one i think i'll stick with this one so i'll upscale three and what me journey will do will just give me that one image as a larger version so now that i have that all i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna save this image dog walker logo from here i'm gonna head over to canva all right so when you're in canva there's different ways of creating a logo canva has its own pre-built logo templates that anyone can use they do have a paid version which gives you more of a better option to choose from or you've got a free version which is still good where it gives you more of maybe like more basic templates uh, so let me show you so i'll come here on canva and i'll go to create design and i'm gonna choose an option to create a logo as you can see from here these are logo templates that you could use by just editing them in a very simple way for example so let's say this is a logo i'm gonna put it there and let's say i wanted to use this as my logo okay all i have to do is just change that so instead of olivia i'll pull abigail my name and then here you could use that again again i just put abigail for the purpose of just showing you abigail and that's how easy you can use their templates to create literally any logo you want like i said some of these options are free to use but obviously if you have a paid version you will have much more to choose from all this are just all different logos that you could literally just do the same thing again with this as well so let's use this an example to use if you want to change this image you can change it if you want to just change this name again i could just put the name abigail there and it will be abigail Holmes. <laughs> let's say it's abigail holmes so let's say you wanted to change this particular image from here all you have to do is come on elements dog walker let's just say dog walker and see what happens so dog walker i have some graphics here and i can use any of them so let's say i get rid of that and then i could use maybe something like this so it's a bit dark all i have to do is change its color and there you go and if it let's say i wanted to change the color for this one's in order for it to match this one's simple again i just come there and then i change the wording into a white color to keep that consistency and there you go so you could literally do this with any of these graphics i mean the amount of stuff you could use 
is a lot there you go so that's how simple it is to generate an image like this so in our case we have an image that we generated on me journey this is a good way of doing it because by doing this you're making sure that you're gonna have a logo that is unique to you what we need to do we need to upload our image that we generated on me journey are perfect so now that i have my image i'm gonna put it there and what i like to do is remove the background completely it's easy for you to edit it so in order to do this all you have to do is click on this button it's literally do this with one click and then you click on bg remover if you wanted to use this particular tool to remove the background you'd have to have the paid version all you do is just press the button and the background for that is removed and just to show you that i'll just change the color for this and you'll be able to see it a bit better and now we can play with it and see what we can come up with i want to leave it as white because i'm not sure exactly where i want to take this i'm gonna put it in the middle in the center just make it a little bit bigger so you can take a little bit more of the space and there you go so i have that in the center we just need to add some sort of a text so if i come here i can look for any text that i like but for the purpose of this video i'm just gonna use this one all right so i'm just gonna bring this a little bit down here and then what i'm gonna do i'm gonna get rid of this get rid of that by just deleting it and now what i have is that and then here you can add the name for your business so let's say abigail dog walking another thing i could do i could change the color so that it can match the logo this is where the imagination comes in right because whatever you can imagine in your head you can create it so if you can imagine this text is up here the text can be up there if you imagine that you're gonna call this uk right uh it's there if you think like you wanna tilt this so it can lay down on a side like that i mean you can do literally anything you can imagine but another way you could do this right you could go back on a template and choose a text that you like so let's say i like this text here on a side i can use this sort of template but then still make it my own i could get rid of that and i'll leave everything like that like and then i could change this name and i could put abigail let's say dog you could say anything and then what i could do i could go back to the image that i created and then i could bring it back and put it there because i've put it again i'm going to take off the background again remember what we just done just press that and the background has gone and as you can see before the background you could not see this that black outline but once you take off the background now you're able to see that black outline what i like to do i like to edit this if it's possible just try and match the colors a little bit i'm gonna match the colors again there you go but then we're left to this circle that's not changed all right hold on all right and now i've got the circle i'm gonna do is just move that image a little bit select that and i can change the color of the circle as well and then i could bring this in the middle there you go let's just make the image in the middle a bit larger so that it can fill up the space a bit more and there we go we've got it there in the middle so so far this is what we have i mean like i said your imagination is the key to all of this so if you're a creative person bang and another thing as well let's say you wanted to change the color of the background for this entire logo you want to make it black you could do that as well so as you can see so we've come from a white to a black and just give it a different look until you're happy with anything that you're seeing right in front of you coming out from your imagination your creativity is the key here you see you can change the color however you want you know you can go back and change these colors if you want but i'll just leave them like that because they go and i like them and that's that that's literally how easy it is to make a logo if you're creative and you enjoy things like this i'll show you a way that you could make money from this if you go to a site called fiverr fiverr is a platform where freelancers offer services all you have to do is register for an account and you can put a listing up and i'll show you some of the people that are already doing this as you can see these are different people offering logo service and they're making money from this this one they're offering something like 245 pounds and some people will pay for this because this person must give a good service because they're top rated and they're good at what they do so they can charge a bit 
more people selling logos for £30, £43. Getting into Fiverr is very easy. Literally just join, create an account, and then you create a gig and let anybody who is interested in buying your logo place an order. Thank you for watching. I hope this video has been helpful. If you've enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this. My name is Abigail. You're watching Simplifying AI.